YouTube kit. This is just an interesting video. I just kind of want to show you what uh, social media can do to you um, and how things can mix up. I'm not hating on this young man. I, it, guys, when I say young man, I think I call anybody who's like under the age of 45, I call them young man. Because I know people like to think that 30 is old, but to be fair, when I was when I was born, okay, by the time I was five, my parents were already in their 40s. So I don't see, like, I didn't know anybody 30. My parents were already in their 40s. So I, it's not like I, anybody I knew that was 30 were like my cousins or stuff like that. My parents were well into their 40s by the time I was even in kindergarten. So I don't see 30-year-olds as old. I see 30-year-olds as young. I see 20-year-olds as babies. And then anything below that, I just don't even really care. Um, but <laughs> I see 20-year-olds as, like, really young. I see 30-year-olds as young people. I see 40-year-olds as adults. And then I, when you start getting into that 55 range, then I'll start saying old. But, yeah, 30 is still a young person. 40 is an adult to me. Um, um, 20s is just, you know, you're just a baby. You're just getting into life. You're just getting into this adulthood. And, yeah, so that's why I always say young man. If I see somebody, like, in their late 30s, I, I say young man. Okay, anyway. All right, let's hop into this video. I got to play the first one. Whoa, this loud as heck. Let me turn that down for y'all. All right, let's get it. These things, first and foremost, I got to show you this fit I had on Saturday. Hello, everyone. Um... Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on in my life, all of these things. First and foremost, I gotta show you this fit I had on Saturday. It's amazing. I mean, look at me. I look fantastic. It was, it was really great. It was such a great night. I went to Pride Night with my partner Kai at the aquarium. It was fantastic. We had such a great time. Uh, and I felt so great wearing this. And I think that's really important. Yes, I... It's weird because this person is clearly manipulating their voice. Um, you can tell that they don't talk like this normally. Um, but obviously, I'm saying that from a biased standpoint because I've already seen this video. But I just want you to kind of notice just, just the way the voice is going. Like, I... I So, I, do, I don't do voice acting. But if you guys have ever watched me do a gameplay, sometimes I read... I'll read subtitles in a different voice. So when I do a girl's voice, I'll be like, oh, this is kind of cool. See, you can kind of see how that sounds. It sounds like I'm a guy trying to be a girl. So this guy is like, it sounds like this is brand new to him. Okay. And you'll see why. I have a beard, but I felt super feminine. I felt super attractive. And that's, that's not something I feel all the time. So it just really, really helped. So uh, the rest of what I want to talk about is uh, what's been going on in my gender journey. I had my blood test done last week. Um, like I just we I see enough people who try to do this transition thing. This one just does not look authentic at all. This just looks like a guy who is pretending. You know what I mean? Pick Pride Month or maybe this is before Pride Month. I don't know exactly. I tried. I I, I couldn't find this guy's account. This is obviously from a Twitter account. It's at Trini, but I. I couldn't find his account because I don't know his name. So I don't know where this is coming from, but just just stick with me. It's my three months. I'm on three months on HRT. Um, my levels were checked. Uh, my testosterone levels are as low as they need to be. Um, you never want to have no testosterone because you need a mix. Even cis women have a mix of, of estrogen and testosterone. So my levels are right where they should be. Um, my endo forgot to schedule my test for my estrogen though. So, uh, because I had my shot on Saturday, I'm taking that test tomorrow, uh, and it should work out really well. Um, uh, other than that, uh, things are going great. My speech therapy is going well. I'm trying really hard to just kind of use this in everyday life and practice rather than speaking in my normal voice and then switching to the femme voice. One of the reasons I started to do this the way I did was... What did I say? What did I say? Doesn't sound authentic. Sound like they're trying to talk like this doesn't feel like something they've been doing for years and it's not like a person once again who's not really into this life to me to make sure that i am actually speaking the way i need to be speaking 
Now it's still very difficult and I'm having- It's kind of weird that you would even go with that because you know what I always so find time with people who pretend to be transgender or people who are, is that you are changing. You say that you accept yourself who you are, but you change everything. Your looks, uh, your body, your top, your bottom, your voice, your hair, makeup. How does that sound like true acceptance? You're literally changing everything. And then saying, ah, but this is who I've always been. If that's true, then you are pretending to be what you think the opposite gender is. You assume the opposite gender talks like this. You assume the opposite gender always wears makeup. You assume that every woman has uh, double D breasts or B's or C's. You assume, you know, all of these things about women and what their bodies look like. But at the same time, you say that you're being your authentic self, but you're literally trying to pretend to be something else. This person is saying, I've been working on my voice to sound more feminine. That means you're trying to be something else. That's not naturally being yourself. This is like, this is my natural voice. I don't try to talk any different. Some days it sounds different based on maybe, maybe if I get excited or something like that. But for the most part, my voice always sounds like this. I don't try to go, I don't try to go, hey guys, you know. Now, do I try to talk a little bit better when I'm on here? Yes. I may try to uh, be better with my vocabulary and all those things, but for the most part, I speak like this in normal everyday life. Like if you were to meet me, you wouldn't hear my voice and be like, I wouldn't walk up to you and be like, um, hello, my name is Trey. No, you, it wouldn't be completely different than this, nor would it be like, hey, what's, what's good on it, folk? Or howdy, partner, how are you? It, you wouldn't be any of this different stuff. I sound like this in my everyday life. Anybody who talks to me knows I talk just like this normally. So the, for, the fact that you're forcing it so hard to try to be a different voice is why I always argue it's not true acceptance. Some issues with like wanting to stretch out my face and make my eyes really big when I'm trying to talk high. Um, I have an expression, I, I have expressive eyebrows anyway to begin with. So um, it's something I'm working on, but progress is being made. You saw that I had like cleavage in my, in my, in my outfit. That's my cleavage. It's, How's that? That just means you're fat. For you, dude, for me, people like me and you, dude, I don't have cleavage like that because in order for me to do that, I have to squeeze my chest together. But I can do it because you know why? Because I'm fat. You're fat. That's not cleavage, brother. That's fat. It's different when a woman has big breasts and she gets cleavage because she got, guess what? She's got fat in her breasts, right? You know, the breast has a lot of fat in it. Even if you're a woman, there's a lot of fat in there. And then, you know, when they come together in a dress, they squeeze. If a guy does it, it's because he's obese or way overweight. Okay? So let's not play that game. It's really amazing. Um, this has been one of the best months so far on my journey, and I'm really excited to see what's happening. Um, I'm going to Seattle in a couple weeks. Uh, it's a trans-friendly city, so I'm probably going to bring some outfits out. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, so let's go to the next video. Hey, how's it going? All right. Cool. I mentioned this before as I mentioned. You already heard the voice change, didn't y'all? So this is the same guy. I mentioned this before as I mentioned a few it weeks later. A billion times. I think uh, they really fucked up when they made the movie. Uh, Not a few weeks later, like a couple months down the road. In the comic series, Scott was a narcissist. He was an incel, whatever bullshit. You can tell this is the same here, because if you look at the back left corner, those are the same cabinets. Same yellow cabinets that he was in front of before. Person. Uh, and the entire climactic battle at the end of that, that film was Scott finding the power of understanding rather than finding the power of self-esteem, as I said in the movie. I mentioned this before, as I've mentioned it a billion times. I think uh, they really fucked up when they made the movie. Okay, it's already over. So here's my thing on it. I don't know this guy. I think sometimes people really want to be a part of something, and I think he may have really been trying to. I don't think that he was really doing all this stuff that he was saying, but some people just really want to fit in, and they'll go to the extremes. And some people, they change, man. Look, look. Now, this is more of an extreme version. But, dude, when it comes to making content and stuff like this, um, 
and this person might now be trying to be a content creator. That's what it sounds like, the fact that he's speaking on something like that. But another thing is, you know, when we all make content, you may notice, if you go back to my videos, I made completely different videos than I do now. I've only been making these kind of political kind of videos or things that are a little bit more controversial here in the last two months. I've made these kind of videos back in the day, back when I first started YouTube, but for the most part, I used to just talk about me. My videos were very much about me. This whole channel was about me and my journey in life. Um, but I decided to make a pivot because I knew that another transformation in my life is to speak up about things that I feel like are important in our hurting society. And I think just making videos about me and my journey and how life is going um, doesn't really tend to help anybody. And one of my goals is to help people, um, not only them, but to also help my own life. And so this is just another part of my journey where I feel like I need to speak up about certain things that I've been not necessarily afraid to, but I just thought that uh, I was being naive about it and I thought I should just stay out of it. And now I understand that um, I'm very passionate about this stuff. I've always liked talking, I, I, you know, and making these kind of videos. And so I start, so I, I'm already doing that now, but I started to actually push towards reading in and researching like black on black crimes, um, reading into transgender and LGB and uh, the way people act towards certain subjects that I actually got passionate about. Now, some of that has contributed to the kind of channels that I watch. Um, and this really started, I would say two years, two years ago, it started with honestly, the red pill community. I wasn't a part of that, but they got me thinking about, hmm, maybe I should start, you know, giving my opinion on these things that I started to, and then it went from that to what you see now. It just kind of slowly transitioned into this. Um, and I still enjoy it, and I still love it. I love talking. I love making these videos. It's just something I enjoy. So when it comes to this young man, I'm, I'm assuming that for some reason he got caught up in the the, the LGB, uh, LGBT, got caught up in that whole whirlwind and maybe wanted to be popular or maybe he was really thinking that hey you know this might be something i want to do maybe it was a joke i just don't even know uh, honestly there's really no context behind all this but for him to go from that to, to completely different shows me one either he's trying to really transition his life into a different content creation and he was just kind of really weird about it or he just we went into that and then somebody maybe had a talk with them hopefully and said look man i don't know what you're doing but this ain't you Whatever this uh, stuff you got going on, maybe you need to go get some therapy. Maybe you need some help. And maybe he did get that. Maybe he's like, you know what? Maybe you're right, man. Me trying to change my voice and all that's just goofy. And so here we are. Um, got to be careful with all this stuff. People may pretend to be something and they're really just going through their own mindset. Just like that video we made the other day on that one dude who said he came out as a girl now, even though a lot of indications would say no. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think this man was just being a grifter? or you think he actually went through some extra trans transformation, or he's a content creator who's very confused. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. But let me know y'all's uh, views on this. I'm out of here. Peace.